Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Tuesday with Evan Max. My name is Max, and today we're going to be tying Brian Hilbert's Philly Cheese Crane. Uh, cool pattern I've seen in the last couple years. Uh, catches fish, a lot of fish. Uh, when they're eating the crane fly, this is a fly you want to tie on. Uh, so good job, Brian. Great tie. Um, just going to show it to some Avid Max customers here. So in the vise, we got a 2302. This is size 6 um, TMC. And uh, we got a 4 mil tungsten bead in the mounds color from Firehole. So we got some nano silk. This is the brown in a 100 denier. Start our thread, snip out our tag, and work down to about the barb. Just a nice little thread body to start. And uh, now we got some of this worm schneel. So this is going to get covered up start it up at the top just to help add a little bit of bulk to the fly give it some body tie that in there work our thread back up to the top and all my this around Tie that off. Couple wraps in front, couple wraps behind. Snip out the remaining. And we're going to work back down to the bend of the hook. And now we got our mink strip. So, mink, newer material, the Avimax. Uh, the gray is a really nice color. And uh, they just definitely don't hold back when they eat this fly. You know, big, big ticket meal that they're going to capitalize on when it comes by them. So look for flows to go up and fish to be feasting. So I'm going to take my hide and just trim it at a little bit of an angle here. And this fly does require quite a bit of trimming. So make sure you got some good scissors on your bench to take care of that. Bigger scissors help. So we're just going to tie this in right on top. And a couple of tight wraps to secure everything. And then I'll work my thread back up to behind the bead. And we'll take a little bit of super glue, put that on the chenille, and then we're just gonna palmer this around and make a real bushy mink body. Just evenly covering up the chenille. You get up to right behind the bead, and then we'll try to make one really clean tie off. And have just a little bit of a thread collar behind the bead. A little bit of tension there. Easy tie. Great fishing fly. Snip out our mink hide. Push everything down so it's nice and neat. Kind of wet our fingers. Make a little thread collar here. And then it'll soak really bites in there. Cleans it up nicely.
and add a little more super glue on there. And do a quick with finish. Snip out our thread. So there's our fluffy mink. <clears throat> so now we're really just going to trim it down almost to the hide. Um, so get a bigger pair of scissors here. Gonna pull it up, trim straight down the top. Just keep working the way around. Really love how rabbit looks in the water. Like one of my favorite fly tying materials. So tied a lot with mink, but I'm um, liking the properties of the mink little tighter knit fibers than the rabbit. Trimming up these smaller scissors, trying to kind of round up the body a little bit. And then we'll take a wire brush and kind of brush it out. And go back in there and clean it up again. All right, there you have it, Philly Cheese Crane. Get all the materials you need to tie this fly at avidmax.com. Um, I believe that you can also hit us up if you're interested in booking a trip with Brian uh, through Trout Trickers. So give us a call, go to avidmax.com for all the materials. Thanks, tight lines.